Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm actually just getting ready to go to a Pilates class. So I just took a quick shower and got ready. I'm out of breath from pulling these leggings on. It's the little things these days. I was feeling pretty good today up until a few minutes ago. My head is just throbbing right now. It's like right in the middle of my head. Um, and I haven't had a ton of headaches. Uh, while being pregnant, but at least probably once a week or so um, it'll come. And I don't know what it's really from. I assume just like hormone changes and stuff. And also, I don't think I've had enough water lately. So that's a really big cause of it too. So I am just going to start downing water for the rest of the day. But um, I figured it would be fun to do a little bump date. So the bump has finally arrived. She's popping a bit. And if you guys didn't know, we are having a girl. So the bump's popping. Um, thankfully, these Align leggings are really, really comfortable still. Yeah, the lighting, the lighting is not good anywhere. Um, but anyway, I am about to head to Pilates. I'm hoping that this makes me feel a little better too and hopefully by then the Tylenol will kick in. Also, I have to show you guys another thing that has been just my best friend lately. Mr. Tums, I've gotta take some of these because the heartburn is kicking right now. I try not to really take a lot of Tylenol and a lot of Tums unless I am like really, really needing it um, and Right now, they're both just very needed if I'm gonna be able to make it through this workout class. I feel like I have a little bit of time. And I am sorry if this is really shaky. Um, I had my camera settings fixed at one point and then I think something happened to where I reset it. So I still need to go in and fix it, but I haven't yet before I started filming this. Um, so I'm gonna have to go in and fix it. So I'm really sorry if some of the stuff is really shaky. Um, I'm doing my best here. But, so this is gonna be baby girl's room. Um, this is a piece of our master bedroom closet that just completely fell off the wall the other day. So I'll just show you guys <laughs> how that looks. But the boys are hanging out in here and there's really not much in here right now, but my plan is to put a crib here and then um, a dresser with a changing table here. And then one of these bookshelves, either this one or this one, we will be using for like her little library area, probably over here. And in one of these corners, we'll end up putting um, like a rocker, but really for the first, you know, few months, a lot of that stuff is gonna be in our bedroom. So not too stressed about putting the nursery together, although it is super fun to do and I'm excited to do that in the future. But I think we're gonna wait till we get most of our baby shower stuff and see what we have and what we need to get, um, what we need to purchase. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys so far our closet. This looks like more, I feel like this looks, okay, I've done some shopping, all right? I don't know. Some of this stuff is from, um, different grandparents so like andy's mom got us this and his dad got us this little shirt and then a few of these things came from my mom um most of this stuff i've just been picking up really um pretty much at target and then some little cute little outfits from tj maxx but this is her closet so far and we'll definitely be like folding some of this stuff like the onesies and stuff and putting that in the dresser. But for now, I just really love seeing this in here and it looks so cute. And I'm just so excited to see her in all these little outfits. But I need to leave in the next five minutes to go to Pilates class. So I'm gonna head out now. And so far, I have had classes with all three of the instructors there and really liked all of them. Um, 
the girl doing it today I think is my favorite. Um, so I'm excited. And this is just um, like an all levels Pilates class I'm doing today. Um, so it's not too hard. Um, and there's not like a lot of twisting and things like that that I probably shouldn't be doing now. Um, and it's super uncomfortable also. Like I was super worried um, that I would like injure myself doing some of these classes and things. And um, I think it's more about listening to your body. Um, so be back later, boys and daddy will be home before me, okay? Bye bye. It's so dark in here. I'm trying to rack my brain to make sure I brought everything I need because that's a that's a thing now where I used to be so good at just remembering everything. Now it's like that was never even part of my personality. <laughs> but I'm gonna throw on a podcast and I will probably pick the camera back up after my class. So I will see you guys then. Just got home and we're gonna be making this Green Chef meal tonight. We've never had this one before. It's the cheesy pork and penne bake. Although I don't have a oven safe dish, so we're not really gonna be baking anything. We're just gonna be doing it on the stove. But yeah. if you can hear Andy playing video games in the background but I am gonna make this little concoction I did this last year and it's really good um, so I just mix apple cider and then a seltzer and it's kind of like a little easy mocktail because this apple cider is so good but it's just so sweet so I kind of do like half and half really good and it has that little kind of tang to it with the seltzer highly recommend of pick the vlog back up today and um right now i'm making my breakfast so depending on how the day goes i might film um everything i eat today just like a second trimester what i eat in a day type of video um so i'm gonna try to do that today and i'm starting off with breakfast so i still have two eggs pretty much every morning um i've been doing eggs with like two pieces of toast or a bagel and cream cheese but that's not enough protein so i'm going to go back to my yogurt bowls so i'm very excited to have yogurt for the first time in probably a month or so so i'm going to get all my ingredients and add those on top so i like to do some hemp seeds and of course i always do pumpkin seeds 
Then I always do some dried cranberries. These are the ones with less sugar. So they're like half the amount of sugar and they're plenty sweet. We're adding a bunch of those. And then I always do honey, just about like a tablespoon or so because it already is pretty sweet from the cranberries. And then the magic ingredient here is this pumpkin seed flax granola. I've shown this a million times. If you guys have been here, I'm like a broken record with the way I make my yogurt, but I have perfected it to what I like. And it's just what works for me. And then here's what it looks like. It's gonna be so good and so much protein in here. And then the last thing that I do every morning with breakfast is orange juice with some um, organic psyllium husk in it. And that is just for extra fiber. Because um, when you are pregnant, you need all the fiber you can get. So I just like to have it in a glass of orange juice. It doesn't taste like anything. And it's literally just like a powder, but it does get a little bit, it doesn't like completely dissolve, um, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that's just the consistency of it. Then I always just use one of these hand blenders to mix it up. And then I've just got my two eggs. I really miss runny eggs. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to when I am not pregnant anymore. Um, I'll probably go eat this and watch some YouTube. It's only seven, so I have a little bit of time before I need to be available and be on my laptop for work. Um, so that's nice. I've been trying to get up a little bit earlier. Um, it's really easy to just kind of sleep until the last minute, but I know that I feel so much better when I get up and have like me time in the morning before I have to start talking to other people and checking emails and that sort of thing. So but yeah, I'm just gonna go sit down, enjoy my breakfast, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So I'm just gonna make a coffee. Um, I'm just using this Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. And it's really not that good, honestly. I probably won't repurchase it, but I just, for some reason, hot coffee is just not sitting well with me. It just sounds really gross and I can't stand the smell of the coffee being made. Um, so I'm just going to pour a glass of this and drink it just because I need some caffeine. Something cold just touched my arm and I don't know what it was. wakes you up um i don't think i showed in the last video but i went to bath and body works and didn't even show what candles i got but if you guys know me take a wild guess and you know that i got pumpkin apple <sighs> i love smells i mean they can just take you they can just transport you you know the sad thing is this is really, really strong. Um, it always has been a really strong candle, but I've been able to tolerate it and it's my favorite. But I think just being pregnant and having like these really strong, like this really strong sense of smell, it honestly just like gives me a headache and kind of makes me feel sick after a little bit. Um, so I haven't really been lighting it. I only lit it like once or twice. So that makes me kind of sad, but maybe what I can do is light it like in the bathroom or something and it'll kind of smell the whole house up we'll have to see i also know like these don't have the best like ingredients in them um so i probably need to go over to this little local shop that i've shown before um where i got like the little hook by our door and i got a really cool wooden candle there i think they have um some candles just with you know more natural ingredients and they don't smell as strong so i might have to see what they have at some point 
Our beach trip that we go on every year is in four days. I'm so excited. Um, I might film a little bit while we're there. Um, I really just kind of want to be able to disconnect and not have to even think about doing anything. Um, but we'll see how I feel. It might be fun to kind of document the last family vacation before baby girl gets here because next year is going to be a totally different story. Um, so I'm really excited, but yeah, I'm just so ready to relax, get some sunshine. And we go to the same beach every year that we've been going to for years and it just feels like a second home. So I'm so excited to do that and um i need to start making my list and doing laundry and getting things ready um, because we'll be leaving either friday night or saturday morning and it's already tuesday so yeah so it's a few hours later and i'm just kind of wanting a snack so i got these this is the pipcorn cheese balls I'm trying to remember where i found these I think I got them at Target. Um, they're definitely not the best, um, but they're good if you want like something cheesy that has a little bit better ingredients. So I'm gonna have that. And then I have one more brownie bite in here. And yes, I have eaten the whole box of these in the last three days. Um, and it is what it is. So I'm gonna eat this last one. Just have like a little carby snack. And then for lunch in a couple hours, I'm going to have leftover pasta from last night. Just a little snack. These aren't bad. They're just definitely not like that classic cheese ball that I love. <laughs> the ones that are probably not so good for you. They're pretty good. This is turning into not the healthy, <laughs> not the healthiest day of eating but i just want to be realistic um because that's kind of how this works um i just ate lunch um about an hour ago i just had the leftovers from last night it was that penne pasta and i am like craving something sweet i really want and wish i could find some macarons near me but i would have to go out and get them and drive like 30 minutes um downside of living kind of out out far it's just one of the many downsides of living out here but i'm about to eat a strawberry pop tart because that's the closest thing i have and that sounds pretty good so i'm gonna eat that this will probably be the last thing i eat before i make dinner later and i'm just gonna make a hello fresh meal later i think i'm gonna do um it's like an orange shrimp asian inspired meal so i'm gonna make that later but yeah i'm just gonna eat this pop tart and continue working just been hanging out on the couch working today and um also working on my baby registry a little bit on my lunch break so yeah it's so dark in here because it's gloomy outside and it's about to rain so i'm just gonna get dinner started um there's two bags and two of everything because i like to order at least one meal a week double so i can just make it all at once and it can be leftovers so um i think this is gonna be so good though it's sweet and spicy orange shrimp and this is what it looks like so i'm just gonna get started on this i know it's really dark in here um but this is kind of the vibe I like when I'm cooking. I don't like this overhead light, it's just too bright. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, I just, I try to use this cooking time as like my self care time for the day. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm also just listening to a podcast, feeling some true crime today. So listening to a Kindle Ray podcast, but 
I might show some clips of just me putting this together, but otherwise I'm probably gonna sign off on the vlog here. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this like pregnancy, what I eat in a day, and just a little bit of vlog footage from my day yesterday and today. So um, if you guys did like the video, make sure to subscribe and let me know what you wanna see next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.